Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Now, I have just come off the back of doing a review of the Co-op's Full Flavour Apple Cider. Uh, if you want to know my opinions of that then just check out my previous review. But, this time I'm taking it up another level. I didn't even realise I did the joke there, but but uh, I thought I would do something a little bit, mm, a little bit more real, let's show it, shall we say. So, courtesy of Crafty Nectar, we are back with the Pulped Cider Company, and this time I am going to be trying out their Level Cider. Pulped Level, see? I took it to another level. Ha ha ha, that's a joke. Um, so yeah, I've had one of theirs before already, but well, I think it was their Verve, I could be wrong there. Um, and yeah, it was not bad at all, to be fair. These guys are fairly new on the market, they've only been around for a, a few years now, but they do seem to be taking the um, cider world by storm with their, with their ciders and everything. So, uh, this one comes in 330ml bottles, as you can see. If there's any other ways, it'll be down in the description below. And this one comes in at 5.4% ABV. So still a fairly reasonable, sessionable style ABV there. Straightforward, honest cider. So, um, now again, the good thing is, with this uh, whole thing about transparency in ciders, um, these guys put their ingredients on. So it says what goes in, apple juice, 97%, sugar, yeast and sulfites so they are quite honest that they um, add sugar into the into the process naturally some people won't like that but I don't care <laughs> um, for the curious drinker we are a pioneering independent craft cider company pulping and pressing our apples from selected Somerset cider orchards we're passionate about the true taste of cider which is why we don't add anything that doesn't need to be our cider speaks for itself our curiosity compels us to explore the incredible breadth of apple varieties to produce our finest ciders for you to enjoy. Be curious. Uh, so, what actually goes in to this cider? Because they do a little, uh, a little graph there, which I think is a nice little, um, nice little thing there. And every single one of them um, shows shows a little bit of difference. So, this one has 25% Yarlington Mill and 25% Dabinet uh, to ensure a medium dry rounded cider with a full satisfying finish, lightly sparkling. And judging from this graph, it's going to be uh, pretty full on on the sweetness, the tannins, a little bit of fruitiness, um, and slightly intense with a little bit of acidity. So generally, as the name, as the name says, a rounded level cider. So, let's well, waste no more time and just get this top open and just see what I do make of Pulse Level. Once again, a big thanks to Crafty Nectar for sending this over to me. Really do appreciate it, guys. Oh, oh wow. That smells herbal. Oh, oh my goodness me. That's like, that's like aniseed getting licorice. Oh wow, yeah, it's medicinal. Holy moly, it's like I'm sniffing Jägermeister. Goodness me, wow. That is not what I was expecting. There you go, ciders can be full of surprises, can't they? Right, am I going to be able to get it all in? Cool, just about, there we go. Right, I'm going to have to be very careful here, but there we go. Let's um, show you the old colour there. Very, very lightly carbonated, as you can see. Um, it has got a little bit of a foamy head, but as with all ciders, that usually goes away fairly quickly. Lovely golden hue there. It's got a slight haziness about it as well. Looks really, really lovely in the glass. There is actually um, little bits of sediment floating around there, which I love to see. What does it smell like in the glass? Yeah, all those, um, all those qualities on the bottle are still there, but you've got this lovely, rich, deep, tannic apple aroma as well that's just mixing in with all those herbal medicinal qualities and it's just um, it's smelling really inviting actually so I'm gonna waste no more time I'm gonna dive straight into this and so cheers everyone and here's to Pulp's Level Cider courtesy of Crafty Nectar. Cheers! Blimey. Oh, it's in the taste as well. Oh yeah, let's get a, uh, get a second one. Wow. 
that is really well rounded. Oh, blimey. The initial taste is relatively sweet, but you've got a nice tartness underlying that as well. You've got those qualities of the, uh, of the licorice, the aniseed, there in the taste as well. The aftertaste, full on tannins, smacks the sweetness out of the way and leaves your mouth quite dry. It's got quite a robust flavour, definitely. Oh man, I'm going to have to go for another one. Bear with me. Oh, getting hints of like orange oil as well on the initial taste too, which adds to the um, adds to the sweetness. There's an underlying background acidity to it all as well. And then yeah, the aftertaste is bang full on that um, slightly bitter, tannic, earthy, medicinal. Man, so many adjectives rolling around on this cider. This is uh, this is. Really, really good. Oh, nice full body behind it as well. Feels uh, quite chewy as, you, as it's going down your throat. Man, this is a very well crafted cider, and um, yeah, I can I can see why it's called level because it's got all these flavours, but they are so well balanced that uh, not a single one of them is overpowering the other. So that shows a good sign of a very well made cider. So let's go for a final taste before a final verdict then. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, well rounded but still big on the flavours, they hit you every single time and every sip that you take you're getting, um, you're getting a little bit of a little bit of different tastes and everything, that, that, this is really really well done. Um, I, I think I prefer this to their Verve so far but I have got one more of their ciders to try so it'll be interesting to see what I make of the third one um, but this one is exceptional quality and if you do see it highly recommend it and you give it a go so with that said I'm giving Pulp's Level Cider a 9 out of 10 absolutely fantastic and another fine example of how a cider should really taste so with that said, that is another episode of the Cider Drink for you guys. I hope you liked it, and as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Until then, well, I am definitely going to enjoy all of this level cider, courtesy of pulp and crafty nectar. Take care, guys. Until next time. <laughs>